Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and it's Camille and today is going to be my May favorites. I know that May is so freaking fast and I had quite a few of my favorites actually this month so I'm going to show it to you now. So the first thing that I will show you is Med Pack. This is Med Pack Ultra Deep Pore Cleansing Mask Alabo whatever and it has Dead Sea and Sea Kelp in it so it looks like that I don't know if you can find it on your local chemist um, I just got it from Priceline around three dollars because it wasn't special and so far I've been loving it I apply it like twice a week and it really gives my face like a tighter pore feeling and like this cooling effect and I really think it really does a great job so I like this one and I'll continue repurchasing this one and I believe this will be used up to 10 uses but I think maybe I believe it's quite more than 10 uses and next product that I'm gonna show you is my dry shampoo I'm not really a fan of dry shampoo ever before because I'm used to washing my hair every day but since winter months are coming, sometimes I do it every other day and when I feel like greasy or oily on my hair I just spritz this chlorine dry shampoo with oat milk something I got, I got this from the Priceline giveaway whatever and this one does amazing it smells it smells so nice and actually I like the gentle feel of it it doesn't leave any white marks on your hair which is amazing and so far I've been loving this one and pretty much my savior for the greasy hair days so the next product I'm going to show you is a Fos Lashes. So I got this from e.l.f. This is the Natural Lash Kit. And it comes with a glue as well. As you can see, I'm wearing it today. It really looks quite natural and flirty a little bit. And it's not too dramatic, which which I really like. Because I don't like dramatic falsies. And it feels heavy on your lashes. And... This one I got from Kmart and it's just three dollars and you can reuse it, just clean it and yeah, good. And the palette that I've been using quite lately is my NYX Love in Paris palette. I know I keep mentioning this for a lot of my videos and it's in the shade Mercy Boucom. And this is like a neutral kind of warm palette. It has nine colors and as you can see I hit pen on the brown thing and I love using them for like winter or autumn months but but I think this palette is like an everyday go-to palette and you don't have to spend a lot of money just to create a nice neutral look and I think this one does a great job especially it's very pigmented and I use it a lot so in my look today I use the brown pot um, and so far I've been loving this shadows and you can purchase this at Target and on online as well so yeah another product that I've been loving are lipsticks I've been into like neutral warm kind of nude lipsticks lately so I've got this one it is the Revlon color burst in the shade sultry and I don't know if you can see that but this is a very very creamy pinky nude lip color as you can see it's it glides on really well, very pigmented, and I like to chuck it in my bag. So, um, this is like my ultimate lipstick savior. So, if ever I don't want to feel like wearing any um, vibrant lipstick, this one is actually my go to. So, I love that one, and it's also moisturizing because it's a matte balm lipstick. Another one is the Blushing Nude from. Um, Clinique. This is an old favorite of mine. As you can see, I'm almost out of it. This is like a lip, um, my lips but better kind of color. And actually, it's very creamy. I think it's this one is. I'm not sure if it's satin finish or something, but it's not matte, and I love that. And another one that I've been loving is the one that I'm wearing actually today. This is from Ever Balena. It's called Mirrored Mocha. That's the color. It's kind of a bit of a brown, pinky color, and I like this because it's my perfect nude lip color. And this one is actually matte, 
but it's not as drying as compared to other matte lipsticks and I got it from the Philippines so I'm not sure where can you purchase this one but yeah and I also I have a new lip balm this is the Nivea soft rose lip balm and this one doesn't have any color to it it just um, enhances your natural lip color and I'll show you this one so as you can see you can barely see the color but it has a little bit of a sheen to it it smells amazing it smells very feminine and I like this one and yeah moisturizing too but what's moisturizing is my Lucas Popo ointment I just repurchased this one this um, previous month and been using it a lot especially before I go to bed because I wanted to hydrate my lips because I'll be sleeping for like eight hours and my lips will be dry and chapped so this one is a good product for that and keeps your lips hydrated and moisturized as well so another thing that I have is my um what I call this hair oil this is um, from Swarovskoff extra care hair repair with consecrated gloss elixir crystal oil so this looks like that and I actually use it after I wash my hair and I just put it like from the middle to the ends of my hair because my ends are a little bit um, dry because I bleached it a few months ago because I ombre my hair um, this one is really amazing it smells so good which I really like um, it really locks into moisture of my hair, especially to the ends, because I really need some like moisture hydration on that part. Because this one is really drying, especially this kind of month, and been loving this one. And yeah. So another thing that I got is by Ghani. This is the Ghani Micellar Cleansing Water. This is actually a makeup remover and it's similar, um, it's like a cheaper alternative to the Bioderma if you know what Bioderma, it's just the same but this one is cheaper. Um, I think this one does a great job actually in removing my makeup because the Bioderma for me I think it's a little bit um, less, uh, I, I don't know how to describe it but this one works better for me. I think I really just have to use like a tiny amount of the product and just pop into my eye and just gently remove my eye makeup and it really works but the bioderma I really need to like clean it a little bit more and this one really helps and I think I might repurchase this one if ever I ran out but I don't think I won't because it's a lot in there but the bioderma it's two times the price of this one so I suggest if you're looking for a good makeup remover definitely definitely go to Garnier and this one is a nice cleansing makeup remover for you and it's also um, hypoallergenic and suitable for all skin types so yeah and last two makeup products but not actually the least are my two new favorite products so the first one is the Napoleon Advanced Neural Makeup with SPF 18. This is from the brand Napoleon Purdis. I'm in the look number 3 medium. I use it on my face. Right now, this is meant to have like a dewy finish, but I think it's like semi matte. I don't know. But anyway, I like, I love this product. It's a little bit of a pricey side because it is a high, it is a high end Australian makeup product, and I think most of Australian women or like most of the people living in Australia know about or heard about this product and I assure you this is really a good makeup um, or foundation that you can pop onto your face and it doesn't really does a good job and um, I must say it really stayed put the whole day provided that I use a primer I use their primer but uh, just a sample one and I also use my own primer which is the next one but it does pretty much the same job and I really recommend this if you're looking for a nice high-end foundation so the last product with that delays is my Bobbi Brown color corrector I am the shade dog peach so this one I just discovered the last week of May and it looks like that as you can see it's so orange and it's in the shade dark peach I really love this product it is really my holy grail amazing amazing savior because I have really bad under eye circles 
if you can tell because I have never makeup but I do really have dark on your eye circles and when I use this one it really alters that color and really makes my skin tone even so I really adore this product and it's really really worth the try and worth your money because it does a great job in concealing your under eye circles and just uh, I, I do like um uh, I put this one on and then I set it with a powder and I'm, I'm, I'm like good to go and just that and it really helps a lot especially when I'm going to work and I'm early morning shift I just put this one on set it with powder and just a lip balm and I'm good to go when I'm so awake like I look so awake so love this one from Bobby Brown and that's the first Bobby Brown that I have ever owned and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed my video I know it's a little bit long than usual and see you guys in my next one. Bye.